it's the same concept as having Star Wars main dessert, but it's just kind of more spread out, and it gives us a chance to sort of show off more of what the Northeast has to offer, basically. We were fully booked for the first two weeks, and the momentum for that has just kept going. Uh, it's been really exciting, it's been really nice to show all our hard work off. Essentially, it sort of builds up all the way through. So you've got snacks when you start, which kind of just, you can ease into it, have a glass of wine, have some snacks, and then go into some bread, it kind of starts to like get into the main portion of the meal. And then you've got a veggie dish, a fish dish, a meat dish, and then you head into your desserts. So. The focus has been really, really seasonal, really local. We wanted to take advantage of the area that we're in. We've got incredible local produce and we really wanted that to shine through. So we're lucky enough to have some amazing art on the wall. So that is by Lindsay's mum, Carol Taylor. So she's based up in Scotland. She has kindly uh, given her art to the restaurant for wall space. So all of the pieces are available to buy. Um, which we thought was a really unique aspect of a restaurant. It kind of adds another dimension to it. You can come in, have some amazing food, and potentially go home with some incredible art. We just decided to open up the chef's table, so we're actually two covers now due to bookings going wild. So we're actually two covers each night. Myself and Mike we bring out the food, we talk you through it, and it's just a great experience all around. In July, we're changing our opening hours slightly, so we'll be open on Monday and Tuesday. We thought this would be a really nice thing to do. It's quite hard to get a nice dinner in Newcastle on a Monday night, so we thought it would be a really great opportunity for people who might not be able to eat out with us later in the week to come in and enjoy it. We renovated it pretty much ourselves. Lots of YouTube videos and DIY, how to do it. Very shoestring budget, but managed to sort of pull it together in, yeah, about eight weeks to get it live. Um, lots of learning processes. Something none of us had ever really done before. <laughs> and it was good fun. Very tiring, long days, seven day weeks, all the time, and then finally opened, and we've just been amazed at the response so far. It was quite nice to put paintbrushes down and actually do the fun part of the job rather than endless painting. It's been really nice to meet everyone in the local area that's been associated with the restaurant. And we were kind of worried that it was just people that we knew that were coming in or people coming to support us. And then once the Chronicle article went live, the bookings just went insane. Um, myself and Rosie were like lying in bed one night and we got to the bookings in about an hour, which was Insane. Um, not what I would any of us expected, obviously not what you'd hoped for, but um, we were just in, like incredibly amazed at how it's gone so far. Why the name Rebel? So Rebel is Lindsay's childhood dog. 